Good morning children. In previous lecture, we have studied about distance time graph. Okay, displacement time graph. Now, in this lecture, we will study about velocity time graph. So, velocity time graph, what is velocity time graph? First of all, in this lecture, I will give you some introduction and the cases will be discussed in the next lecture. So, in velocity time graph, time is taken on x-axis and velocity is taken on y-axis. Why it is saying like this? Because velocity is dependent on time. Time is an independent quantity, okay? But velocity depends on time. Hence, velocity is put on y-axis. We all know that the quantities which are dependent quantity, they are on y-axis while plotting the graph and the quantities which are independent, they are on x-axis. So, I am giving you general introduction about this. See here, this is a velocity time graph which you can see. We know that velocity is a vector quantity. So, it have some direction. What is the unit of velocity? It will be meter per second. Okay. And what about time? It will be second. While plotting a graph, you should mention the unit also. Okay. So, here you see velocity has positive 5 and minus 5. You can see in this figure, it is plus 5 also and minus 5 also. Why it is saying? Because velocity is a vector quantity and it gives the direction. If the object is moving around, in positive x direction okay then velocity will be positive y direction then velocity will be positive but it is in if it is in reverse direction okay then it will be negative means it is decreasing so this is the graph which will show the velocity time graph okay so this is a velocity time graph now it arises the question that why we plot velocity time graph what is the use of this velocity time graph okay so the use of this velocity time graph is to find the displacement of the body how much displacement the body is covering in displacement time graph you have seen that from that displacement time graph we can find the velocity and we can measure the distance total distance which the body is going okay but from velocity time graph we can find out the displacement okay so what is displacement you know that displacement is the shortest distance traveled by the body okay so see here from this graph we can find the displacement so now question arises how we will find the displacement so same case how you have find the distance what we have done that in that case, we have find the area of the graph which the graph is covering. Okay. So, in this case, we will find the area between the time axis and the graph. Okay. Of velocity. See here, this is an inclined plane. Here, it is also inclined plane. So, the, be, these both together will make a triangle. Okay. So, this triangle, first triangle is the first motion. Means in first uh, phase the body is moving in this much area after that it is toward negative direction okay so there is a trapezium you can see it is a trapezium so trapezium is the another phase of the motion of the body and after that it is also following triangle okay so what we will do we will find the area of this triangle this trapezium and this triangle okay so the displacement i'm writing here the formula displacement will be equals to area of a b c now see here what we have to do for displacement we have to add the vector okay we have to add vector vector addition we have to follow so, what is vector addition? In vector addition, we take the signs also. Sign means, see here, this triangle is in positive direction. Na? So, the area of this triangle will be positive. But 
the area of this trapezium lies in below the time axis so this is in the negative direction hence we will take the area of this trapezium with negative sign so here it will be minus area of c d e f now this triangle is also in positive direction so area of f g and h so this is the displacement how you will find the displacement of the body from velocity time graph okay now here comes the another one more thing you can find from this velocity time graph that is acceleration or retardation okay so what is acceleration and retardation we have discussed earlier that acceleration and retardation in uh, theory wise in concept wise both are same but the signs of both are opposite means acceleration is always positive and retardation is negative what does acceleration means see here at this point the velocity of body was something else at this point at 1 second the velocity of body is something else at 2 second the velocity of body is something and at 3 second it is 5 means at each time interval the velocity is changing with respect to time okay so acceleration is there means if velocity is increasing with some quantity okay then there will be acceleration but see here in this case first of all velocity was plus 5 then after decreasing it becomes minus 5 okay so from b to d the fine initial velocity was plus 5 and the final velocity is minus 5 means at 3 second the velocity was plus 4 5 but at 5 second the velocity is minus 5 just reverse okay so in this case the velocity is decreasing hence it will be retardation okay so now the question arises how we will find the acceleration or retardation so for finding this you have to find the slope of the graph means you will first of all find for acceleration see here in this graph a to b the velocity is increasing so by this we can find the acceleration so slope of ab that will give you acceleration okay acceleration is a so how we will find the slope so see here you will write change in velocity okay so what is change in velocity final minus initial okay so see here from a to b the final point is b and initial point is a so at b the velocity is 5 so you will write 5 and at a the velocity is 0 so you will write 5 minus 0 divided by this is the time okay so 3 minus 0 at point b the time is 3 and at point a the time is 0 so it will be 3 minus 0 so the slope of the body is 5 by 3 so this will be your acceleration okay and it will be meter per second square okay you can reduce it in decimal form that will give you a uh, for our uh, answer acceleration okay now we have to find how much retardation is there okay so see here for finding of retardation you have to see a graph in which the velocity is decreasing so see here from b to d the velocity is decreasing so we will take this graph for finding the retardation so how we will find the retardation this is also slope of bd you have to find the slope of bd now for finding slope of bd what we have to do final velocity minus initial velocity so final velocity is d at point d the final velocity is minus 5 okay and at initial point the velocity is plus 5 so minus 5 minus 5 divided by now what about time at point d c the time is 5 na so it will be 5 minus and at point b the point is 3 means what you have to take the time the final point 
okay final destination is at which point and initial destination is at which point you have to subtract both of them then you will get this slope so how what way will the slope see here minus minus will be plus 10 and 5 minus 3 2 okay so this will give you retardation okay now see here in this point for d to e from d to e there is no change in velocity okay so from d to e there is no acceleration because if there will be no change in velocity we can't find the acceleration so from d to e the acceleration will be zero now similarly from e to g you can find the slope and find the acceleration e to g the initial point is e and the final point is g so 5 minus 5 minus of minus 5 uh, minus 5 divided by at point e the time is 7 and at point g the point is 9 okay so that will be your answer so i think it is clear how you will find the displacement and acceleration or retardation from the velocity time graph so this much is the concept i am giving you in this lecture try to see this concept from your book read line by line okay and some important cases are there which i will discuss in the next lecture till then revise till okay revise all these from your book thank you <laughs>